good day lords and ladies and welcome back to Battle Brothers with me Connor Knight. We are currently on contract to do a armed patrol and let's continue with that shall we. We took out some of the basically man-eating ghoulish creatures unfortunately ooh, yeah no I ain't fighting that. Lots of orc, orc young ooh. do we want to fight that we just want to run for it. Oh boy okay no, it looks like it's the choice that's been made for us. We need to grab high ground. We need to grab high ground right now. The problem with fighting orcs is that they have really good shields. Right. Where's... Curses. Okay, we actually haven't got that much good ground to high. We're going to have to try and hold this bit here if we can. Yeah, I had to bottleneck them in here. Put an arrow through his leg. There's the one we need to worry about. He's got decent gear on, as does he. Right. Can't really... We can't aim at the ones that aren't wearing decent armour. He's got so many of them got shields. Missed. Okay. We need to grab this high ground. We need to grab it now. So I'm going to put some people here. Or we can... Uh, the problem is we haven't got room to... Yeah, we've just got to have to try and grab this high ground and hold it like the blazes. another one coming up here. Okay. How do we want to do this? We need to we need to have four people here. That would push us pretty thin. But it would also limit uh the problem is if I put a guy there he's gonna be able to get attacked on three sides, which I don't like the idea of. Well let's put someone here to hold the flank. We'll put someone here He can hold here. He can jump up and hold here. The bannerman can go here and uh, we'll put the spearman here and support. He can go here and support. He can go here and support. So he's supporting all the, bl the men here. Here we go. Yeah, that was what I was worried about. The problem is they get a charge ability which is nasty as anything. They've got to move up there, okay. Who do we want to gang up on? We probably want to gang up on him. Cut his side wide open. He's got to charge. Okay, that's not great. Stab him. Rip his shoulder wide open. We've got to try and kill off all the ones that haven't got um, shields first. Stab him in the leg. Okay. Who do you want to shoot at? Him. Rip his ear clean off. Him. Get back. He's got heavy armor, so we have to be super careful. Oh, we're missing. Really? Put bleed on him. Cut open a artery really wide and just really tank up. Pierce his hand. Kill him and start giving um, negative traits to everybody. They got a charge. Yeah, that was what I was worried about. Get 
gouge him in the face. Focus fire on the ones that haven't got shield so we can kill them off and hopefully break their morale. Alright, he's back up. He's going to be taking massive penalties. He's going to be bleeding all over the place. Oh, he's got to... Okay, aiming for him. Shield wall. Oh, missed. He's got a charge. Come on, we can do this. He's got a charge. We need to put an arrow into him. Oh, really, we missed. Okay, he's going to be dead, so we need to focus... Fire on him. Oh, he stunned me. That's not great. He's going to bleed out. Kill him. Rip his side wide open. The orc sort of staggers back, screaming, and we stab him again in the leg. He can't attack, which is a problem. He stunned him. The big guy's got to charge in. That's what I was worried about. Stab him. He's got to throw more spears in. Oh, he missed again. Focus on this orc. Reload. Who can I aim at? Put a crossbow bolt into him. Ah. Slash his side wide open. Cut his arm again. He's trying to run. Right. Give him artery. Cut on his artery. He blocks it. That's not great. Pierced his hand, he sort of drops his weapon to screams when we finish him off. He rallies. His morale is going down. His morale is going down again. We need to focus fire on him. Okay, that's not working. Absorb. Cut deeply into Soden York sort of screams and staggers back. He should charge in the uh, focus on him. Reload. Missed. He's gotta charge in here if we're not careful. So we need to Cut him, give a nice cut on his artery. Okay, his shield's gone. We need to gang up on him right now. Because he's got decent armor on. Right, we need to stun him. Okay. Get there. He's going to try and run. I was hoping that was going to break his morale. It didn't. Break his shield. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Stabbed him in the kidney. Okay, we need to start rallying them. Relocate to here so we can shoot up into the melee. Put more bleed on him. Cut him deeply into the face. Cut his side wide open. Okay. We need to do something about him because I can't afford to lose this guy. We can't lose Wiseman. Right, we killed them. All these guys are fleeing. He's got to jump here. And put some damage on him. He's hurt, so I'm going to have to pull him out next battle. 
We kill him, him off. We're going to do Rally, which boosts him. The Pikeman is going to basically stab at him. He's not going to break. So we're going to move him up here so he can do his shield breaking ability next turn. He's blocking still. We need to get men up here and try and overwhelm him. Because he'll start trying to cleave for our shield wall if we're not careful. Come on. Ripped into his side. Delicious. And he sort of staggers back screaming. Kill off all these guys because we need all their heads. Kill him. Move up here and surround him. His morale is dropping. He's okay. Pikeman's gonna have a thrust and we kill him. We took a bit of damage. Mostly it was on Fiasco. Fiasco and who's the other guy? Uh, and Wiseman, the drunk. Wiseman took a real pounding. We got some relatively rubbishy gear. I mean, the problem is that it looks great, but the problem is it's mass it has like massive fatigue penalties. So who's hurt? He needs to come down here and have a new shield given to him. Why is he unhappy for? Felt useless in reserve. Okay, you can jump up. Wiseman leveled up. Oh, those stat rolls. Right. What I want to give to him. Shield is nice. I'd like to get Brawler for him though, so he has a bit more stamina. Fiasco leveled up. Oof, again, really bad. Stats. Okay. Underdog. That's always nice. Want to get Berserker for one of my two-handed people, that would be really useful. Basically what my plans are is that I want to try and get everyone to have the Shield Expert, the Brawler perk for my front line if I can help it. Um, and then once they get that we'll move on to weapon skills. The back rank I want, um, especially VDR and Hawkin, to basically get Berserker when they kill people. Um, the problem is the weapon mastery, less fatigue is good but the spear wall isn't particularly fantastic. Is it pike, pole arm? Okay, so yeah, I mean, it's not fantastic. I'd rather have weapon reach for two handed, um, which is very nice. Um, underdog is very nice. Uh, footwork. And there's some really nice ones. Um, Berserker's fantastic for two handed weapon users. I also want to start getting backstab for them as well. Backstab is really useful. How bad is the gear damaged? Quite badly, okay. So we've got 13 out of the 25 maximum heads that we can have. We have still 6 days. A number of my guys are hurt, but they should be able to get back up. He needs to basically have his gear patched up. I need really uh, another archer perhaps. I don't know. Maybe I'll just switch him out for an archer at the moment. And get him get him back in the fray and get some more damage done with range. Your patrol takes you to Dudenberg, which receives you with some gruff and suspicious merc a mercenary is met everywhere. Uh, you never leg on your journey. You need to buy a little bit of food. Do they have any cheap food? Yeah, not bad. No repair tools or anything. I mean, Orcus gear is actually surprisingly good in some regards. Like, their shields are really useful. Unfortunately, unless you, like, deliberately make, like, a powerhouse to use their weapons, you can't really get much use out of their gear. 
Right, okay. Um, we'll get rid of the suspicious meat, because it's probably human flesh, and it'll give us negative morale and stuff. Sell off some of the gear I don't need. Is there anything here that's interesting? No. Okay. Where's the next leg of our journey? Oh, we're going back there, are we? Okay, we need to get a few more heads. I'm trying to figure out where the best place to go to get these heads would be. Well, let's wander about for a bit. This is the problem that I have with the road patrol stuff. Because basically we're getting paid 50 crowns per head, so we've got basically 650 gold plus the 200 gold that we got, 250 gold we got paid in advance. So we need to get a lot, a few more heads. Now we could do this, this honestly by um, killing peasants. It doesn't really tell you. They basically just want heads. That was like one of the old tricks that mercenaries used to do. It was to do that. So we could always do that. Um, we still got time on the clock, as it were. I need some tools. God, their tools are expensive. Missing people. So that does suspect there's something wandering around here that we could probably kill. If we could find it. I'm not going to bother to buy stuff from there because with all the penalties on them it's just going to be an absolute nightmare. I can't find anyone. Uh, curses. We've got five days left to return. I would like to kill some more creatures if I could. There's always stuff up this way. Stuff we're lurking in the woods. We need some more tools. Let's camp, actually. Let's just camp for a second and see if we can lure something towards us. Uh, well, taking inventory last night, Wise Wiseman the Drunk has a little too much to drink. He's, uh, he's lost some stuff. Latrine duty. If you won't put down the drink, I'll force him to get the whip. Uh, everybody makes mistakes. The problem is he's actually losing quite a bit of money. Get the whip. Wiseman receives an injury. Wiseman is no longer drunk. Wiseman is now greatly disgruntled. The man was driven to drink, so you plan to drive it out of him. You order a flogging. A few battle brothers drag the drunk away. He is hiccuping and moaning. His head bouncing along, along as he seemingly is unaware of what's going on. You string him up beneath a tree and set the clothes on his back. After a few lashes, the drunkard wakes up to his punishment and begins crying out uncontrollably. He begs for mercy of a tongue blurred by drink and pain. Like a man fighting for freedom from a nightmare, one thing is certain he will never make the mistake again. Well, yeah, well, he cost us quite a bit of stuff, which is frustrating, as no one knows. Missing people. Tools here are really expensive. They have antidotes. I still can't find anything. I mean, we could wander into the woods and maybe come across something in the woods. Typical, isn't it? When you actually want to find creatures, you can never find them. And we're rapidly losing funds. Trying to find more brigands and baddies to kill. We've got four days left on the contract. Ugh. We're just roaming about trying to find people. Let's camp. Is there anything about... Ooh. Some brigand raiders. We could probably take those guys. Plus it'll add to our pot. How is the how are the men looking? 
gears are okay. If we're fighting against raiders, we probably want stuff that can get for armor. Have a spear to hold that flank. I would really like to have my axemen to break shields. Okay. VCR, you can jump here. Rogue, Liffy. Who can I take out? I could probably take Liffy out for a second and have him in here. He's got relatively good weapon skill. We'll give him a mace just so that he can get past some of their armor a bit easier and around shields. That seems okay. There's a sum, I don't know how many it's going to be. Some brigand raiders. Six of them, okay. A glaive, a pike. We'll focus on the pikemen, because the pikemen at the moment is the biggest risk. All my archers will focus on the pikemen, and then we'll basically push this group up here. Missed, seriously. Right. Yeah, we're going to have to swing. I'm going to leave two blokes to deal with him, the rest are going to swing up. But I need to hold them, so he's got a sealed break wall. Right, he's got to jump in, headshot the guy, and crack his noggin wide open. He's got to jump up here. Oh, that wasn't great. He's got to jump in here, body shot, not great. Kill him. Jump up here. I was hoping for a critical headshot. Rip him into his side and he sort of screams and staggers backwards. Rip him to his side again, jump up here. Cut him deeply into the leg. He's going to try and flank. Oh no, he's not. He's going to rotate out. Okay. Move him here. He missed. He missed. Reload. Well, he's reloaded. We've got to jump here. We missed. Stab him. Rip his ear clean off. And the guy sort of screams and staggers backwards. We kill him. Nicely done, VDR. Where's this archer? Jump up here. Can we get anyone without hitting any of our own men? No. So we've got to try and flank around. I was hoping that was going to work. Oh, well, he's fleeing now and bleeding, as is he. Kill him. Jump up here. Give a good whack. He's got a thrust. Do a bit of damage, which is not fantastic. Reload. Finish him off. Oh, he blocks. Get up here. Kill the guy that's left remaining. So he relatively did that nice and quickly. Headshot. Kill him. Hopefully try and scavenge some of his gear. Get down here again. I doubt we'll be able to. Let's try the application. Oh, I was hoping we could kill him before his armor gave out. Headshot. Ah, uh, no, unfortunately not. Ah, well. We killed them anyway. Got a level for someone. Got some nice bits of armour. Some salt. A little bit of money. Who levelled up? Belazar levelled up. Really like this character, actually. More stamina. More range defence. More melee defence. 
perk, give him the sealed expert so he's a bit more durable, and then we'll give him a weapons master one. Right, we've got 19, we've got three days left, but our tools are running low. I might just turn the quest in. It's not going to give us a fantastic amount of money, but at the same time, uh, I doubt we'll be able to find anyone soon enough to get the extra six heads. 950 crowns. You return to Count Conrad van Einstein, Einstein it's Essenstein. He is met with curiosity. He counts crowns, but before giving you any, he asks you how many heads you have collected in your journey. After reporting 19 kills, he purses his lips and nods. Good enough. The men spills some crowns into a satchel and hands over. Alright, so... Ooh, marauding orcs. That's going to make things interesting. Grab a bit of food. What are they paying for salt down here? Nice amount of money for salt. Get rid of some of those. Get rid, rid of some of my more damaged spears. Let's see. So we've got a bit of money. So anybody worth recruiting? Caravan hand. A uh, grave digger, perhaps, if he's any good. Is he any good? No, not too bad. I mean, his melee stuff isn't fantastic, but we could have him in the company basically as a see because he has relatively good stamina so we'll give him a spear for now give him a helmet what should we name him let's name him who do we actually not have named yet Fiasco, Wiseman, Liffy, BDR, SK, Mr. John Locke, Indy Lilycorn, Hawkin, Cynical Earth, Vladimir, Mr. Baba, the Fuax, the Rogue, these are. I don't think it's his brother, do we? So we shall add his brother back. Tarizar. I need to have you somewhere relatively useful. I'll put you down here for the moment. I mean, he hasn't got fantastic stats, but 50 is average. But he can build his melee defense. He's got relatively good initiative, relatively good stats. He has athletic, which is nice. So we can build him relatively well. That's we're good to leave it today, ladies and gentlemen. If you've liked, please press the like button. If you wish to subscribe, please press the subscription button. You can follow me on Facebook and at Twitter at the links by the below. Or you can't follow me on Facebook, but you can follow me at Twitter and you can look me up on Steam. If you want a character added to the Let's Play Elite, please leave it in the comment section. I have said I am bulk recording next... Well, these episodes are coming out... Let's see... They're probably coming out, out around the 7th or the 8th. So... Unfortunately, it means that because I'm basically, I have an, um, s um, stuff going on next week, so I'm pre I'm pre-recording a lot of videos in advance. So if your if your name doesn't get added like in these videos, it, it's not that I'm not going to do it. It's literally that I'm bulk recording them. So I do apologise. I see you all next time. Goodbye.